Welcome back, Yakkers, to uh, the very last episode of the semester. Um, and my very last episode, along with all of the other seniors here. Um, I'm your host, Christine Squalia, for the last time. And we've got a great show planned for you. First, we're going to be talking about um, an Airbnb in Southwest. Then we're going to be talking about the senior send-off. And then we're going to do Tooth, Truths, and a Lie, and there'll be some guest hosts as well. Stay tuned. Welcome to our first segment. Um, we're going to be talking about how someone in Southwest decided to put their dorm up on Airbnb um, and they didn't get caught for a little bit. So uh, here to talk about it, we have Robbie, Allie, and Bernsey. Um, do any of you guys know the story well enough to explain it? Um, yeah, I read the article. Um, so basically, somebody listed her Southwest dorm on Airbnb. And she was saying like there's like she was listing all the amenities like friendly neighbors. Um, you can use like the microwave laundry. Um, and I think it was up for like a few days. And then like the the, um, the UMass like spokesperson or whatever, like they figured it out. And they said like they, they talked to her and she had to take it down. It's like against the rule. It's against some type of policy for like assigned spaces or something. You're not allowed to rent them out. And then, so the person was actually, she refused, she didn't want them to say her name because she said she was getting harassed, so we don't know who it is, but there's some rumors that it's Allie, so. Ooh. Made some money. Yeah. Um, I think another crazy part of the story is they're renting it out for $85 a night. Like, would any of you go Airbnb a dorm room for $85 a night? Hell no. It's like a really shitty area, and it's like <laughs> gross, and also, it's a twin bed. And then also, like, do you have to be, don't you have to be signed in at the dorms past eight? Like, do you have to be back and, like, follow <laughs> someone else into the building and stay in a dorm room? And also, was it a single? Like, is she living with, is she still going to be with her roommate? It was a single. Oh, okay, okay. Where yeah, does this girl go? Well, yeah, like, where does she go when, when, the, when the guests are in there? But my thing is, like, I might do it. I'm thinking about it. You're 36 years old. You're realizing <laughs> your life is... You know, following this pattern, this rut, and you think back to your college days, and you're like, wait a second, I want to relive that one one more weekend. I want to go see. That's not what would happen, though, Robbie. You'd show up at a Southwest dorm room, 36 years old, <laughs> and be staying in the dorm room with no college student near you, okay. who you were associated with, and everyone would just be really fucking freaked out. I know, I know, I know. If, this if is I like was the in setup my, for like a movie. If I was yeah. in sophomore year when I was in McKimmy Hall, if there was next to me in a single, some guy that was like, hey. I'm trying to relive my glory days. I would say, let's freaking rage. That is you. That is you. Well, you would do like that, but I don't think the average... More, I feel like 60 I would too, people, actually. Yeah, you'd be like, you know what? As long as he... I would help him live it up. Yeah, as, as long as he explained himself, like, I was like, listen, go. this is my deal. I'm, I'm making coffee at 8 a.m. every morning. I'm going to work. I'm doing the same thing. I just <laughs> want one weekend just to relive my, my, my 20s. Here's I would I'm... say, let's freaking do it. Let's rage. Here's a shot. Let's go. Okay, but I'm saying you're 36 years old. You're sick of your job. Like... If you're working, why don't you go travel somewhere? Don't go stay in a tower in Southwest. That's Allie, so you sad. Are being, you, are, you are lying because you would, you would do something I like would this. not go to Southwest by myself at age 36 oh, what to if, party what if, some I would do it. What I if would you do did it, it with someone yeah, else? That you went, oh, that that's, you that's a different story. Yeah. If it was like me and you hitting Southwest once right, again, that'd right. be hilarious. Yeah, that's more probable and but less think, creepy. You'd think that you'd <laughs> a like, lot less creepy. Yeah, you'd think that you'd want to like do something else with your money. Yeah, but you, but you you will do something else with your money. Just that weekend, that's what you're doing with the money. That, I, I feel like eighty five dollars is still too much money. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's a lot cheaper than other Airbnb it's, options. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It also depends. I mean, it's, it's communal also like, communal bathrooms. 
Yeah, that's a but whole other thing, dude. It's like you go into you the guys. bathroom, all the college students shower, and you're like, who the fuck is this dude? It's the experience <laughs> of coming back to those days. And, yeah, but it's not. You're not gonna. It's not gonna be the college experience that you want ha- once had because you're not Imagine gonna feel comfortable there. Imagine you trying to go to like a fraternity at will. like 36. Exactly. Like an old person at a college party stands out, and more well, often so, than not, the it's, reason it's, it's not fine is when you bring your parents. parents. Yeah. But like, like but people bring their parents to party. And when you see older people, you don't really question it. You're kind of just like, oh. If you see an old person by themselves the whole party, you'd start to probably question it. But no one does anything about it. You would get out, yeah, you'd get but out you'd, you'd scar have, free. You wouldn't have a good time in the way, unless maybe the guy comes up to you and you're like, all right, we're going to pretend you're my dad and we're going to go out. Like yeah. You need some sort of context to just be going to a college party. As a, yeah, that, that, that old. You know? I don't know, but I think, that, I think the girl's smart. And I, I mean, I, I wonder if so she got too. any hits, you know, if anyone actually wanted to do it. I know for her graduation, like, the, the hotels are all, all booked, booked. And they're, they, like, rent. My yeah, parents are staying in my dorm, or in dorm, in my house, in yeah. my bed. I'm going to be sleeping on the couch. Really? Yeah, and it's, Everyone like, else's are, too. It's I know so they, bad. like, yeah. my mom said she's looking into it, and you can literally rent rooms in Southwest. You can rent dorms in Southwest for graduation. And I was like, Mommy, you guys should do that. That'll yeah, be a blast, crazy, right? Yeah. Wouldn't that be a blast? Yeah. But I don't think they're going to. But still, it's an option. I have a twin bed like on for the people floor, who so like I don't think that would fly with up. my parents. Yeah. Likewise. Unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, but I mean... Well, so what are your parents doing? I don't know. They don't know. Well, I live 40 minutes away, so they can just drive. Oh. Home. It's, yeah, whatever. But, anyways, where else do you think there would be a weird Air- Airbnb spot? Like, oh, this Air- happened at other colleges too. This was like a big problem. Airbnbs are kind of like they're cool and they're cheaper than they're they're like good alternatives, but sometimes they're kind of like sketch. They're it's kind ske- of sketchy. It me out the Especially when like the people stay when you're there. Mm-hmm. That you freaks know? me out. It's like it's like yeah, come live with me in my house for a weekend. It's not mm-hmm. like just like you ha- use my house for the weekend. I come with it. Yeah. It's like. Well, I had an Airbnb when I was abroad, and it was like this massive house, like so many bedrooms and like these offshoot bedrooms. It was wicked sick, and it was like me and like twelve other college kids at this Airbnb. But then there was also like an older couple staying there at the Airbnb, and then the guy who lived there was also there. So it was like a little weird because it was like, is this living room like ours for the weekend? Like, can we rage in here, or like, is are we sharing it with you guys? You know, I should have like raged with the old people. We we ended up doing that, but still, the beginning was awkward. But then the guy came out and like gave us a bunch of shots and like stayed too long and it was just another form of weird, you know. You're in his house. Yeah, like he has every right to get fucked up with us and be creepy, you know. I guess. Uh, I don't know about the be creepy part. Not creepy in like the creepy way that you're probably thinking, just like making you feel weird. He's like <laughs> sixty, you know. <laughs> Intentionally. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just like it's just again. Burns you would, too you, old to would be you stay at a, a dorm Airbnb? Yeah, I mean, I, but I think what they were talking about, it brings up also, like, criminal issues if there's, like, a 40-year-old staying in the mm-hmm. dorms. I was like, thinking, what if people would just rent it to have sex? Like, people on campus who lived in doubles? Oh. That'd be fucking crazy, dude. A sex room? You're renting your room for sex? You might as well never sleep there. It would get disgusting. <laughs> that had some more criminal. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that basically that, is like uh, a glorified uh, like a something. Anyways, that's, uh, that's the note we have to end on. So uh, it's uh, been a great year, great semester. Um, won't see you next time, but uh, I will on the next segment. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to the next segment of Yak Back. I'm Michael Burns, aka Burnsy, and this is my last episode of uh, Yak Back. And it's been I've been here for four years, so it's kind of sad. Um, we got here Robbie, Ali, and Jake, who are also all seniors. Um, so let's start off with uh, just going down the line. Um, how long have you guys been here? I started uh, fall semester of junior year and yeah fall semester junior so two years two years 
Yeah. Uh, I started spring semester freshman year, so would that make it four years? Three and a Three half. Three and a half Almost years. four. Yeah, you're the second. Almost yeah. four years. Yeah, mm -hmm. Bernsey has me beat by a semester. semester. Mm -hmm. So I've been here a pretty long time. I joined, I think, fall of sophomore year. Yeah. Two years ago. Over two years ago. Two and a half. Three years. Three years ago. Three years ago? No way. No, is that? Is that Paul's two, and a half, two, two years, two, two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. It's been quite a time. It really has. Yeah, really fun We've time. We've had lots of different, um, well, since I've been here, lots of different panelists. Oh, lots, yeah. Lots, lots of different of personalities panelists. in these chairs, you know? Oh, yeah. Lots of different ins yeah. and outs, but the OG ones, they remain. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so I have Ali beat by one semester, um, and it's been a, a lot of different, yeah, personalities. What's, what's your favorite? Yak back memory, Allie, and then you guys. Ooh, I don't know. I guess I have a few. One would probably be uh, my first segment I ever went on, I didn't realize was a banana eaters segment. We we're talking about banana eaters, and we all like shared a banana, and I didn't really know anyone on the panel, and it was like wicked weird. Uh, also, freshman year, we went to like a, a UVC TV banquet. And all the Yak Back members got wicked drunk before. Like, we were really drunk. And then we were in the banquet, and this kid, Oren, poured out the water. Like, the water, like, thing. Orin. Filled it with vodka. And we got just so wasted. And then we won show of the year. And it was really fun. And I was, like, a freshman. And I was, like, enjoying myself so much. And then, um, yeah. That's a few of my favorites. I think um, I'd have to say... I don't have a specific favorite memory, but I remember when Chantel used to be on the panel. And oh, she I used, was so like. I used to go back and forth with her every time we were on a segment together, and I used to love it. We used to have such good banter. It was it was a good time. <laughs> she I she would it. Agree, disagree with you to disagree. With yeah, you, no there was, it, it didn't matter what she truly thought. No matter what I said, she'd have the op opposing opinion. But it and I think it worked. It added so much more yeah. to the segment. It created yeah. like such a. I really loved that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I would probably say when I took a brownie before the show and it hit me when we did that Halloween yes. episode when Brendan and I, it hit me when I was blindfolded and my hand was touching this goop and that was like a moment in life that I'll never forget. I didn't know what I was touching. I didn't know where I was. That was crazy. Yeah, it's you don't want to get drugs blindfolded. <laughs> I've, actually, I've actually in all years really of weird Yak Back that we've been doing it, I've never had to be one of the people that had wear the blindfold and guess what's in the box. Oh, I loved it. I I've thought it was hysterical. But Thank God. I told Brendan just before the show, I was like, yo, I took a brownie. I wonder how fast it'll hit me. And that shit hit me in like 35, 40 minutes, like a much less than an hour. He's around I thought I'd be out of here. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> He's aware. He He's messaged around. me on Facebook. He's around this weekend. Brandon Hoff says? Yes. Why wouldn't he come through for the last Jack back? Well, it's not the weekend yet for most people. What's your favorite memory? Yeah, by the way, Brandon was one of the classics. He was good. He was a host. Classic. Um, yeah. Um, John definitely, too. Allie talked about banquet freshman year. Um, I remember that, that was you like guys the first, came in hot. Yeah, we, oh, yeah, because you were with sports, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, that was like that, that was like the first and only banquet we ever had. We never had a good banquet really <laughs> in the in the next few years. Um, but it was just amazing. Like sports and news were just being boring. Um, so they were just doing like their little right. videos and stuff. And then we come so. in like what Allie talked about. We were having vodka and it was a, and we had a good time afterwards too, so that was a good memory. I brought some nips for myself and I was expecting the others to be drunk and they were like, No, we gotta win this and I was like, What? We ended up winning. I know, it was yeah. bullshit. And we went to a party after Prince. You remember me, you, Allie Bush, and that other kid yeah, walked home in the rain from yeah. Upton? Yeah, that was, that was a, crazy. That was a classic day in the Yak Pack history. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, so gosh. Jake, so you've been, you were in sports your first semester, is that right? Or like, I mean, I was in before. sports pretty much up until the beginning mm -hmm. of this year. Mm -hmm. um, I started with sports originally. And then I moved, or I went to news once, and the news was shitty. So I went to sports. I liked the guys at sports, but then it became way too much of a commitment. Like, outside of class, you had to go to the games, record it, make videos. I just didn't have time for that with my schedule, so I kind of did backstage stuff for it. And then this year, I just I couldn't do it. I have class till 7.30 on Tuesdays. Wow, so you were doing both of them at the same time? Yeah, I was doing Yak yeah. Back in sports for a while. Yeah. Um, wow. All of sophomore year and then junior year, too. And then Which one did you like best? I, Yak Back was much more laid back. Um, I like Yak Back a lot because you just talk about anything. 
and it's fun. I get good friends here. Sports, though, they're good people. They joke around. Tommy Kaluti. Yeah, that was one. I was going to say Jake was one of our hosts, and that was one of the classic. Um, John Hollowitz. Going out lines. Yeah, John was a classic host. That you was, never knew it was going to come out of that kid's mouth. Yeah. I don't think anybody else here remembers him, would, knew him besides us. Yeah. But he was... Yeah, he was probably. I mean, he was probably the most entertaining host we had. I would say. <laughs> I've not like. I've seen it, videos. Yeah, you see, you can see the, the past videos. Um, anyway, yeah. So, Robbie, what's your uh, advice for the show going forward, and where do you see it going? I see good things. I think it's it's. You just need to have fun with it. Don't be. Don't hold back when you're on the panel. Say what you got to say. Create some dynamics. Have an opinion going in. You know, even if it's not your full heart, it just. Live it up, you know? Definitely, definitely create some controversy on the panel. You always gotta stir the pot. Mm. That's my opinion. Mm. Yeah. Just off of that before you, I, I would say, my freshman year, one of, another memory I liked is, they would just, Jake talked about the brownies, people would just come in drunk, like literally. From UPUB, yeah. From UPUB, were you there for, like, you remember the kid Bagel, Sam Bagel, did you know him? He was tapped. Yeah. His, 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 uh, his, his uh, Facebook name was like something about a toilet. Yeah. He was the really short one that was like John's best friend, right? Yeah, he was taller yeah. than me, but maybe that yeah. makes me really, really short. He was like, yeah, well, no, no, but yeah. I just remember him. And yeah, they used to show up so drunk. He was crazy, that kid. He was, but that's like what Robbie said. He would just say whatever yeah. was in his head, and that made it interesting. Anyway, that's all the time we have. Um, this is my first and last segment hosting. Um, and I really enjoyed it, so thank you guys. And we'll be moving on to the next segment, which is uh, coming up next. Stay tuned. Hi, UMass. Uh, last segment of Yak Bag for the year. I just want to say happy Founders Day. Got to remember, 152 years going strong, this baby. So uh, here to play a pretty unrelated game, Two Truths and a Lie, I have Robbie, Jake, and Molly. And let's just get right to it so we, get, we learn as much about each other as possible, you know? Yeah. First one we have is Robbie. <laughs> That's me. This is Truth, Truths, and a Lie. Ready? He was an extra for the movie Click. He was related to someone in the band Fountains of Wayne, who sings Stacy's mom. Drummer. I was, he was conceived in a trailer. Let's get it on. Oh my god. I'm gonna go with the lie is that he was an extra in Click. Okay, and Molly, what are you thinking? Um, <laughs> the lie is that he was conceived in a trailer. Jake is right! Wow. Robbie was never I, in the movie Click, he was lying the whole time. I knew I would have. I was conceived in an airstream. Do you think Robbie would be in that trash In an airstream. <laughs> no, I don't think so, and I think that I would have heard about it before if you yeah, were an extra. Yeah. My cousin, my second cousin is the drummer in the band, Fallen's of Wayne. I've heard that just, one, I knew that yeah, that one okay. was true. Alright, next we have Jake. Hey. Uh, he is a certified scuba diver. He can lick his own elbow. Shit, and he you. used to have a pierced ear. Ooh, picture it. Uh, he definitely can scuba. And he, I feel like he oddly can lick his elbow. So I'm going to go with the pierced ear. Yes. I'm going to go with he can't lick his elbow. Robbie's right! Molly, I'm, Molly, catch up. I'm catch just, up. I'm drowning. So do it. Here. I'm drowning. You should Maybe save Jake me and Robbie know a lot more about each other. Maybe there's some history there that we don't know. I have know? to like take this jacket off. Oh well, we believe you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Chill. Yeah. Maybe when we when we dance it out. Yeah. Uh, okay, Perry, our lovely producer. She's fainted at a haunted house. <laughs> she has the occasional allergic reaction to potatoes, <laughs> and she's seen a shark dissection. I don't think uh, reactions can be occasional. It's either you're allergic or you're not. So are you saying? I'm gonna say she's not allergic to potatoes, potatoes not even occasionally. She might be allergic to potatoes though. What was the first one? What are you doing? What was the first one? Uh, she's fainted at a haunted house. I believe it. No. 
I think that that's a lie. That's a lie? I agree. I think that They're lie. right. Robbie's wrong. Uh, so she's a cave. Yeah, how dare you undermine her allergic reactions? That's like so rude. Well, it's Occasional. like, just do you eat potatoes? That was so rude, Robbie. Molly is up next. Ready? <laughs> it's like, do you eat potatoes or do you not? Imagine life with no potatoes. I'm hosting this segment. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. <laughs> Dictatorship. Uh, <laughs> Molly has three older siblings. She, Bill Hader winked at Molly once. And Molly has a pig, has a pug named Pancake. No pug named Pancake. Yeah, that's what I was going with. Ooh, too. so you're easier to read than you How'd thought. How'd you know? Why? How'd you know? Because how you would don't you post pick, about? Pug. How would you pick Bill Hader out of out of every any celebrity? And I think I've seen your siblings on Instagram. Ooh, creepy. There. What do you think seen about your that? What on they've Instagram? done their they've siblings. done their work, so I understand. All right. Next we have up Burnsy. You saw him host the previous segment. Name a pug Here pancake. is it. Bernsey has had a dog. <laughs> Bernsey <laughs> has been to the Bahamas, and Bernsey played basketball in high school. Has a dog. Has a dog. a dog. No. How did you guys all know that? Yeah. That's a lie. <laughs> I don't know. I think I knew he went to the Bahamas, but shot in the dark. I knew he balled up. All right, we're gonna do me next. Let's see. Robbie, you're probably gonna know. Um, okay. Uh. I have shared a bed with my sister most of my life. Uh, my cousin owns five air balloons, and I went to see the Muppets five times in theaters. I think I do know, but I'm not going to say because I think I'm right. I bet you've seen the Muppets a bunch of times. I know. That feels so right. I don't like the air but balloons. But the hot air balloon thing seems like But it sticks crazy out to me enough. to be more obvious. Yeah. I expect more from you. Muppets. You've seen it probably four or six times. <laughs> what was the first one? My sister cousin bed. owns five air balloons. The first the one? sister in the bed. You think that's the lie? No, I know uh, that's, that's not true. the lie. Cousin owns air balloons. Oh, you're right. My cousin doesn't own any air balloons. <laughs> yeah, like what? <laughs> I just want to go on record and say I haven't been wrong, and I'm fucking a genius. I'm pretty sure you were wrong on one. I wasn't. Flawless. Let me, let me, read, let me look back through. The Rob, Robbie one? No. I got Robbie. You have been right every single time. Ugh. Let's either. see if you can crack Kate Barvik. Ooh. Ready? Kate. Is going to be taking pictures of ancient Middle Eastern pottery this summer. She's done with all her final exams and she's home free. Uh, and she has a pet gecko who's not very smart, but he's very cute. Done with all her finals. The gecko. Too many details. This is tough. What was the first one? She's <laughs> going to be taking pictures of ancient Middle Eastern pottery all summer. Gecko. Jake is right again! I'm dying. He can read everyone's <laughs> minds. So you're home free? Nelson. Nelson, oh. Nelson, oh, right, Nelson, right, right, Nelson. Right. Let's see if you can crack his code. Okay? It's a hard one to read. He's Nelson test, has Jake. a cat called David. Nelson rides downhill bikes. Nelson will be 21 this year. I'm going to say... That he'll be 21 this year. I really don't know, though. Jake, don't lose your streak. The 21 is tempting. Re repeat them again. Nelson David. has a cat called David. Nelson rides downhill bikes, and Nelson will be 21 this year. No cat. I don't think he, I think he rides uphill bikes. <laughs> Jake was right. <laughs> ah! <laughs> we should stop. Like. <laughs> I wonder if there's anyone we haven't done. Okay, we have one person we haven't done. Christine, who was hosted two segments ago. And if you did, if you get this one right, then you've gotten every single person who wrote one down right. Christine's cousin ended up naked by the pool at her sister at his sister's wedding. Uh, she kicked a clown in the balls when she was little at a fair. And she ran the Mass State Police Junior 5K every year until she was 10. Until she was 10? Like, was she on so your own running it? She, like, she came out of the womb running? I, I don't know if she's re... Maybe it was since I, since she was 10. I don't maybe know. she wrote it wrong. Maybe but just take that for what it is. Lie. Repeat them again one more time, please. Okay, we have... Christine's cousin ended up naked by the pool at his sister's wedding. Uh, Christine ki kicked a clown in the balls when she was little at a fair. And Christine ran the Mass State Police Junior 5K every year till I was 10. I don't think she kicked a clown in the balls. I don't, I don't think she kicked either. a clown in the balls. I don't think she kicked a clown in the balls. You guys are right. Jake, you got it all good job, Jake. Let's go. All right, let's do uh, 
Wait, I have one more for no, Robbie so and Molly. Body. I added two. Simple sides. deductions okay. will do it. And we're back to Robbie. Okay. Robbie is able to do a standing front flip. Robbie got lost on the beach when he was seven. Oh, that's been pretty hard. It's Fourth of July weekend. Look, it's yeah. Yeah. Um, and Robbie has gotten a nose job. Look at that face. Nose job. That's all natural. You got nice lost. Nose. You got lost on the beach. Robbie is not able to do a standing front flip. You guys flip. are both wrong. You got a nose job. Yeah, nose job. How else would he look uh -huh. that handsome? Come on. Broke my nose sophomore year of high school. Uh, had to be all reconstructed. Good nose. Uh, Thanks. And we're bumpy. back to Molly. We're back to Molly. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, you can do a front flip. Are you kidding me? I really <laughs> thought you could. You could do a front flip. You'd be seeing him doing that like so extra. <laughs> you do that at like every drink. party. Yeah. yeah, right. Like you'd be doing it constantly. No, one time we were outside skiing and board, and like these friends of ours, like our kind of friends, were, like gymnasts too, and like they couldn't get into the, the party. But then also like, but look what I can do! I can do this on a snowboard too. They started doing all these flips in the front lawn to try. And, and they were like, hand. okay, you still like, can't like, come like, to our can you party. Do that <laughs> off of our property because if you get hurt, it's on us. Yeah, it's like flip like, your way home, dude. <laughs> okay, uh, Molly. Molly loves to skateboard. Have fun. Uh, Molly's uncle is the president of Toyota Mexico, and Molly did ballet for eight years. I don't think you like to skateboard. Jake was, uh, Robbie was right. So in oh, the end of the day, yeah. do we really even Fuck. know each other? I mean, you go to school for four years and people can still be strangers, but people can also be your best friends, you know? Who are you? So <laughs> that's, I guess, what college is just all about. And, the uh, unknown. Yeah, it's about the unknown. It's about going into the further unknown afterwards. Uh, yeah, so You're that's Ali. Out, We're signing you out. See you next year. Hey. Lick your elbow, lick your elbow, lick the 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 elbow, l